What's up, y'all? My name is Ray Nelroy. Welcome to my channel, Fishing Trips. Now, check it out. I get a lot of questions about my jetty rig setup. So, look, I don't know who created this setup originally. I can only tell you who I learned it from, and that's Mark from MDLR Fishing. I will put the link of his channel in the description below. Check him out. So, yeah, let's make this quick and easy and show you how I do it. Let go! All right, y'all, so let's get started. I have everything laid out as far as what you're going to need in order, okay? So, first things first is we have these bobber stoppers. You can find these at Academy. They're like three dollars for like 50 of them i'll show you how i actually install these what these allow you to do not only will it stop your bobber you know from the depth you can kind of slide this along your mono or your braid to adjust the depth of what you need so yeah definitely need these bobber stoppers at academy next is just some regular beads i use the six millimeter beads now you can get these at academy as well um, the bobber stoppers come with beads, but they're super small. So with saltwater fishing, they're kind of hard to adjust and put into the line. So I get these actual beads. Next, we use the Little Joe bobber stopper here. Um, once again, you can get these at Academy. These run about $3.50, I believe. So yeah, you can get these at Academy, seven inch bobber stopper, right? Next up, simple slip shop weights. I use the size three. Whether the biggest size you can find, these are going to help your shrimp sink down to the bottom. Um, next up, a slight modification from what MBR does. There's some swivels. I actually just use swivels, man. I'm not good at making um, uni to uni, so I just use a swivel to connect my leader. And from there, you can either use um, you know, a typical leader line, mono, fluoro, or whatnot. This is 50 pound mono. And adjacent to next, some hooks, right? You can, the smaller treble hooks you find, especially where trout will work, if you're not planning on keeping fish, you might definitely want to go to a circle hook. All right, so first you're going to start with your bobber stopper. Now, as far as how to install these, it comes with like a little tube, right? Now I have 30 pound braid. So all you have to do, y'all, is insert your line, should I tag in it's nice and flat, through the tube, like so. Just go straight through the tube, all right? Give yourself enough room to create your leader, so maybe like a foot, okay? At that point, what you're gonna do with that little plastic tube, you're gonna grab the tube and pinch the actual spool, and it's just gonna pour right off. See that? And just take the tube off. From there, there's two tag ends with the bobber stopper. All you have to do is grab each tag end and just slowly pull it along your line so just pull it away from you and it's going to tighten up just like that all right and that's it and all you have to do at that point you just cut your tag ends and your bobber stopper is installed and that's it y'all now with this bobber stopper as you can see you can just kind of pull it right pull it left pull it down pull up so this will allow you to adjust the depth of how deep your bait is going right if you want to go more shallow, you pull it down towards the leader and it's going to be less line. If you want to go deeper, five foot, seven foot, six foot, pull it all the way, right? This is going to allow you to be able to reel up your line to your bobber and have enough room to cast. All right, next up, we need a bead. All right, so next up, y'all, we just got to install a bead to be able to have our bobber stopper be stopped. So we take one of our beads here, install that as so. Just put it through, all right? And as you can see, when our bobber starts to float up, the bead is gonna hit our bobber stopper. And that's gonna be able to stop the actual bobber. See that? Just like that. All right, so next up, what we wanna do is install our starter show, our bobber. All right. So with our bobber, once again, this is the Little Joe seven inch. All right, so here's our bobber here. The orange part is the top, the white part is the bottom. So we're just gonna install our bobber. Let's go through the top. Sorry, you can't see. Go through the top and insert. Just like that. It's not rocket science, y'all. And once you get it down the first time, you'll be able to knock this out in like one minute. Okay. So this is our bobber stopper, right? So once again, we have our bobber stopper, bead, and bobber. So once again, once the bobber hits the water, it's gonna start floating up. The bead's gonna hit the bobber and stop it. See that? And think about it. If you can adjust the 
green bobber stopper to go up and down, that means your deck can go anywhere and be stopped. All right, so next we have to install another bead. Okay, so we install another bead to go beneath the bobber stopper. That's so. All right, there we go. All right, so now we got our beads. We got our beads on both ends of the bobber stopper and like that, right? All right, y'all, so next up, if you know how to do a uni to uni, to, you know, braid to mono, then you can do a uni to uni. In my case, I don't, so I just like to use the actual swivel. Keep it simple, all right? So what you wanna do is just tie your braid to your swivel with whatever kind of knot you're familiar with. For video purposes, I'm gonna do a regular fisherman knot. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can also do a polymer knot. You have to be careful with braid because braid can have a fisherman knot and just slip right out. Okay? All right, y'all. So at this point, let's do a little recap. So we have our bobber stopper, adjustable bobber stopper. At that point, we have a bead. Okay? Then you have your bobber, right? Then you have your bead. And now we have our swivel right just like that just like that so next up let's talk about leader options all right y'all so next up we're going to make our leader once again i'm just using like 50 pound mono you can use whatever leader you feel comfortable with now as far as the length i kind of noticed that you know i was doing maybe like a foot and i wasn't getting any hits so what i decided is to go deeper so i'm using maybe like a three foot leader right three foot seems to be the special spot so we use our three foot leader line. All right. And from there, you're just gonna tie your leader to your swivel. Now so, use whatever knot you feel comfortable with. I'm just gonna use a quick fisherman knot. Two, three, four. Go under with our knot. There you go. Cut our tag in. Perfect. All right, so once again, now we have our leader, okay? So, <laughs> bobber stopper, B, bobber, B, swivel, right there, swivel right there. Uh, and now we have our leader line right there, about three foot leader. Now to finish it up, you can use whatever kind of hook you want, whether it's gonna be a circle, all right, so to finish it up, you can use whatever kind of hook you want, whether it's gonna be a circle hook, treble hook. Um, for video purpose, I'll use a treble. Let's do another fisherman knot. One, two, three, four. Tie our line up. All right, cut our tag in. Now we have our hook set, right? So hook, leader, swivel, and next up, actually, going to use our slip shot now you can personally I'm gonna put my slip shot right above my swivel right there right so slip shot right above the swivel Let's connect that come on break there we go it's just not right another swivel all right and this is gonna allow the shrimp to help sink down to the bottom all right so let's start from top to bottom here we go bobber stopper, six millimeter bead, seven inch bobber. This is gonna stop, make it hit, right? Just like that. Next up, you have a bead to the bottom of your bobber stopper. Next up, you have your slip shot weight. Help your you know, shrimp sink down to the bottom or whatever kind of base you're using. I use a swivel to connect this. You can use a uni to uni. Next up, you have your three foot leader line in there from your actual hook. And that's it, y'all. It's that simple to make an adjustable bobber stopper. You can fish as shallow as three feet, as deep as 10 feet, just by adjusting your bobber stopper. I hope this video was, um, you know, informative. And if you like it, make sure you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It's been real, y'all. Peace.